the 2021 vintage in Bordeaux was arguably one of the most challenging vintages over the past 20 years. And yet Chateau Lafitte and producers like Chateau Margaux did incredibly well. They made classic, very traditional, beautiful wines with harmony and balance and very little signs of the challenges they had to face. So here we speak to Philippe Pascal of Chateau Margaux to find out how Chateau Margaux overcame the challenges in 2021. So Philippe, thank you for the tasting. Um, I really enjoyed your 2021. It's uh, been considered a really challenging vintage. So tell us how you made it so successful in, uh, in, in, with so many weather and climatic challenges. Um, yeah, thank you first uh, for your comments. Uh, yes, 21 was very difficult. You know, we started with uh, the frost that reduced a little bit the yield. And, um, and then we had a very high pressure of meat. And so, uh, so we had to, to, to protect the grapes uh, very, very often. So it was very difficult in the vineyard. And so we have really to thank uh, the, the vineyard team to, uh, to have worked so hard to maintain the grapes in uh, such conditions, very good. And, uh, and then the, the weather continued to be uh, cool and, uh, and rainy as well, except August and beginning of September. So first, I would say that it's a great vintage for the white ones. Uh, we, we picked beginning of September, before the rain that uh, came back mid-September. And, and so, uh, so great for the white. And then for the red, yeah, we don't consider 21 as a great vintage because we had big differences between wines you know, from uh, some uh, unripe grapes to exceptional grapes, you know, as uh, uh, we, we are in a first growth and we have so many great blocks that can compensate the, the weather conditions of the vintage and uh, that uh, are able to produce uh, great wines, whatever the conditions. And we see, even if it's a surprise, but 21 uh, has produced wonderful Cabernet Sauvignon and there's a at a level of concentration that we didn't expect. So this is the first good surprise. And the second is a level of ripeness of the tannins. And so I'm sure we have a great freshness combined with a good ripeness of tannins. Uh, we, I think the wine is able to age uh, very long. And I'm sure that in, a, in 20 or 30 years, nobody would think that this is a 21 vintage. For your so, wines, yes. yes. But it wasn't the case across the board, so you must have had a low yield as well. Yeah, low, of course, low yield is a, is a guarantee of the quality, you know, and so uh, when the weather conditions are a little bit uh, uh, challenging, of course, to, to produce uh, 36 hectolitres per hectare, as we did in uh, 21, of course, give more chance to the grapes to be ripe. So, uh, so, of course, yes, yeah, the level of the yield is uh, one, one parameter of the quality, for sure. And in the cellar, you mentioned you also had to limit yield to make sure that there was... Yeah, for, for you, you know, in the cellar, we tried also to compensate a little bit uh, the dilution of the grapes because we, uh, we measured uh, very big berries. And so we know that when we have big berries, of course, we have a lot of juice compared to the quantity of skins. And so uh, a, a way to compensate, of course, is to do a saignée, you know, so to, we, we, we bleed it more than the tanks to compensate a little bit than the quantity of juice. Mm -hmm. And so this way, we, uh, I think it's a very subtle way to increase the concentration, and, uh, but not increasing the extraction. Yes. And so it gives, I, I think, the, uh, more tannins in the wine but uh, preserving the balance and preserving the, the quality of tannins. So I think it was a good way in 21 to, uh, to, to make a great wine. And both Pavillon Rouge as well as uh, the Grand Vin were terrific. So. Thank you. No, I think Pavillon Rouge, you know, you know, we make Pavillon Rouge today with blocks that before uh, went into the blend of Chateau Margaux. In the 80s, we made 60-65% uh, of Chateau Margaux. Today, Chateau Margaux is 35, 38%, mm. and Pavillon Rouge is 28, 30%. Right. So all the blocks making Pavillon Rouge today yeah. were uh, making before the Chateau Margaux blend. Mm. So yes, Pavillon Rouge, uh, uh, I think, is close in quality uh, of Chateau Margaux, even in vintages like, uh, like 21. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome.